like for example the spot healing brush I won't be able to use it on this one because it's not rasterized. I'll just say okay and we'll just do it now I can work on it um, I'll, under I'll explain what all that stuff means at another point while we're not when we're doing something with uh, rasterizing in a later tutorial so like there's these like little spots here and I wa don't want them to be there I just click on them with the spot healing brush and I'll make them try to blend in with the background and like go away like that for example so these are for editing photos and I'll have to teach you what the other ones mean later on so what we got over to the next is this is our brush tool we got brush pencil uh, mixer brush color re and color replacement tool and the hotkeys for these are B so I've just got my brush tool and I have my color selected it's just gonna paint kind of like in uh, Microsoft paint and stuff almost drew something bad by accident <laughs> so uh, that's uh, your uh, brush tool and just so you know the brush tools hotkey is B if I just press B while I'm out here like drawing or whatever and then I press B it's gonna switch to uh, the pencil tool it's a uh, capital B actually so it'll be shift B to switch and you can see my cursor is switching so we got those uh, tools there then beneath it we have our, our our history brush tool and our art history brush tool and uh, I'll teach you about those later some more uh, photo editing tools we've got our clone stamp and our pattern stamp tool and I'll have to get into those later also um, we've got our eraser our magic eraser and our background eraser tool and this one so I mean you can just erase things and our background is a white background if I take turn that off you can see it goes back to the transparent so that's what the eraser tool does it just erases whatever's there and um, to the right here we've got our paint bucket tool which fills in um, uh, solid color and then we have our gradient tool which is kind of like the paint bucket tool but doesn't do a solid color it does a gradient color but you could make it do a solid color if you wanted to but there's might as well just use the paint bucket tool for that now um, beneath that we have our uh, dodge burn and sponge tool and these are used for adding like burns and and things like that into your uh, photo so if I use this dodge tool and I do it on this girl's arm it may, this is making it making her arm like way lighter as you can see and if I use like the burn tool it'll probably make it darker yep so that has made her arm darker to the left of that we have the uh, blur and sharpen tools and um, I'm sure you guys know what a blur is. It'll just blur out the area and the sharpen will make it less blurry. And then we got our smudge, which will uh, smear around everything like this. And uh, you can see her watch is now smeared. And uh, we've only got a couple more left, so uh, I'll try to speed through these. We've got our different selection tools here. We've got our path selection tool and our direct selection tool. And I'll have to get into those more when I talk about paths and uh, here we've got our uh, pen tool this is what it's going to start on to is like a image of an old looking pen and then our different uh, pen editing tools here to the right of that we have our text tools horizontal vertical and then we got horizontal mask type and vertical mask type and all you need all you need to do is just click and start typing and you have different types of uh, uh, different text in there and below the text tool we've got our line tools and our shape tools so it's going to start off on this rectangle most likely and with this you can draw like a rectangle that has um, a fill inside of it already same with your uh, polygon tools and then you have a custom shape tool that where you can draw your own shape and everything like that or add in other shapes now we've got our uh, hand tool right here which is used for just moving stuff around and our rotate tool 
And then to the right of this, we have our zoom in and zoom out tool. So if you press, um, if you press on your uh, mouse button and move left or right on your left mouse button, excuse me, move left or right, and it'll zoom in like that. Or you can zoom in incrementally by pressing the um, left mouse button to zoom in, and then or hold Alt to change it to zoom out. So that's how you use the zoom tool. And then um, below this here, we have our different um, color selections. So we've got our foreground color and then our background colors. And then we can switch these out using um, this arrow right here. So you can switch these different colors that you're using. And then this button here switches them to black and white. So the default foreground and background colors. Um, this uh, button here is the edit in quick mask mode. I'll go over that one later and this is the change screen mode. So I can change it to standard screen, which is what it should be at for everybody else. Um, full screen and then full screen, like totally full screen with everything. In full screen mode panels are hidden. They can be accessed by on the sides of the screen by pressing tab. So we already went over that in the last tutorial. So. Um, that was a long, t a little bit of a long tutorial. Um, I just wanted to remind you that the actual, every single one of these um, tools has an options menu up above, and anytime I click on it, the options menus are going to change. And you can, um, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do with these different options. So, th all these tools are very versatile and uh, pretty awesome. So Photoshop is a very in-depth program, so it'll probably take us a, a little while to get through everything. And um, you just gotta learn the basics of it first, and then after you learn the basics and how to approach different um, problems and everything like that, you can basically come through and master the finer points and learn how to make some really cool things. So thanks for watching this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial. We'll, we'll go over like how to like create new documents and things like that. So see you guys at that one. Have a good one.